good afternoon another sunflower saturday right we're going to start working on the pages um this is the big one the three signature one um yeah i might do the single ones with you let's see how fast we get through this it does take me forever <laughs> um i've got my box of ephemera i found some new um papers to put in actually or did i already put them in i might have done yeah i have right ignore that um I did a load of uh, die cutting of borders. Let me see if I can grab the whole lot. Those. So they make really nice page edges and stuff like that. And they're all my Sizzix dies. So sticking to my guns and getting some die cuts used. Because they just sit in the drawer otherwise. So yeah. Anyway, we'll put some of those on. Let's have a flip through and see where we are with this i'll be honest with you because i've got um i've got a bit lost because making ephemera i can't remember what i've done with the pages i've left my note self a note there what does that say cover the snowflakes with flowers oh okay right they're snowflakes so we'll put that on as a border right okay i'll leave that on there so i will forget right let's have a look through see what we got are very unruly so signature number one uh, they can ch they do change <laughs> it might end up in the middle I don't know we'll go through so um, right so I've got a pocket there that's fine now I think I said to you before I've got to be careful because I'm really naughty at decorating all the fronts of these and not remembering the other side so I'm going to be very disciplined, hopefully. <laughs> right, so I've got some white pages. What I might do with these is, um, with my Distress Spray Stains and Oxides, is simply spray them. I don't know, we'll play around with that. Maybe not today, but at some point. These are getting on my nerves. Stay there. Uh, right, okay, so, yeah. Oh, I stitched a pocket on there because this is where I was wrap going off I was doing what was I doing I was doing the singles and I'd already started on this one and then I've gone back to this one <laughs> yeah it's just the way I roll unfortunately uh, yeah we'll have to play around with placement there not quite sure this is where it's very much your style if you like i think is the only way i can describe it the way you like to lay out a journal comes in because i've got really big these are really big yeah much bigger than a5 uh, which is my normal size so um we're going to have a lot of half and up and downs and stuff like that these are the extra pages that i found and a lovely plant book didn't even remember i had it so I managed to get them out in whole sheets so they can go in there. And again, I don't necessarily decorate everything because that's quite a nice page. If, you know, if somebody wants to stick photos or pictures or memorabilia on there, might just put a small pocket here. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I've definitely got a pocket here. Again, this needs to... Oh, that needs to be sprayed it looks like I put that there to stitch on as another pocket might not do that don't know doily yeah oh I've stitched that on don't remember doing that <laughs> I might put um, I'll tell you what would look nice on there with me box there is is um, stay. let's put you down the bottom that one there might look really nice on there So yeah, it's just, I don't know, to some people it might look really confusing the way I do things, probably. Um, but to me, it does make sense. Where I like it. Do I like it at the top? Um, I might go more towards the top so whatever I put in here will be more in the middle because I too do tend to go bottom heavy 
So let's make a commitment by sticking that there. Glue. Uh, what I might do is just glue stick the middle. I know for most people, including me, this is the part that takes forever because it's just getting that balance right and bearing in mind these are journals to be written in, you know, they're not to be highly decorated necessarily. First pocket in. Woo -hoo. I should have left that open. I could have done a. Oh well, too late. We can always put another little pocket here if you want to. We could do that actually. Thinking about it, I've done a load of. Why does stuff disappear? Ah, I said right in front of your face. A load of collaged. I could do a small. That's exactly the right size, that one. So we could do a small pocket here. Let me pick a punch. Overlap that very slightly. So if I chop it about there, and these are just folded book pages, um, glue pages. So so that can sit there. Actually, if we punch bigger pocket uh, hang on let me think no I don't want to go too deep because I don't want to see that I think here yeah right I'll change my mind there <laughs> sorry uh, the reason being I'm not that fussed about the background showing if I did a really big pocket it would really show so um, I'll be fine so anyway, sorry, I can, manners, how are you all? Hope you're all well. It's um, a nice day here today, so it's all good. I thought I'd just crack on and start doing this because um, I keep focusing on ephemera <laughs> and I don't need to. So um, I think we'll decorate that pocket, but maybe not right now. Okay, all right, let's stick that on. So it's a flap out double pocket. There you go. Ooh. That's a very wobbly line of glue. I don't think it's straight, but let's embrace our imperfections. Yeah, and again, these sort of pages, I don't I might just do some stenciling over them or something like that. Are you even in screen? I never even checked. No. <laughs> Come down a bit. Oh, good grief. It's going well. All right, stay there. Okay, again, more plain pages. Again, it might just need a bit of stenciling. So that's easily sorted. Little book, little book page there. It's quite nice for the layers. Here could do with another. I don't know. Um, could do. Oh, you're just a bit too long. Could do with a flap out something or other there. I'll just go back through my ephemera. What are you? Oh, you're a pocket. Are you? Yes. Oh, that was one that I spanned. Yeah, I messed up. 
so that could go there as a side tuck actually because the music pages although they're pretty they are a bit what do you do with it type thing so i'm going to put a pocket there it's a double page so it's quite thick actually um i'm gonna have it overhanging a bit actually Actually, if I put that there, hold on, let's see if we've got a bit of one of these die cut beautifully. I could put a bit of that on the bottom. That will look rather nice. Um, I can't remember the... Um, numbers of these dies they're the long thin ones that cut the borders yeah if you desperately need to know the numbers let me know or the you know what design they are i will have a look see if i can find the numbers yeah that'll be really pretty right let's stick that down the bottom there then Ooh, come here yeah although i've got a lot of lace um, when I look through, I, I just didn't feel that any of it would suit what I'm doing here. So, um, so I thought I'd just do paper paper lace instead, technically. So. Right, so if we put that there, we have a nice big tuck in here and it's got a stitched edge. So, yeah, that'd be cool. So everything but those two sides... You know, oh, we could do because we've got enough. There's enough height in this signature that we can have that hanging over the page. And it was quite a thick scrapbook in paper, actually, so that might be all right. What I will have to do because <laughs> you know it's me, I'll have to cover the back, or I might just spray it. We'll spray it, that might be easier, right? Okay, pocket. I do overthink this stage. Right, so we've got Edith holding Holden in the middle. Let me, everything's slipping. Let me just move these. You two sit there. Over. Out the way, out the way. Pin, because it'll seal itself if I don't. Right, okay. Um, I don't think that, I don't think Edith Holden paper needs any decoration. This might just need a little snippy thing. Um, it's not going to need a lot. Actually, the one with the tab hanging out might be quite nice. I might wait actually and let me choose a stencil I haven't cho chosen one yet because I think a stenciled edge there with one of those snippets sat in the corner will look quite nice right okay let's just concentrate on where we are basically so again do we just put another pocket or we could put something like that there Thin paper actually, I don't want to go too mad. I'll try that on the side of the side, you dopey bird. Okay, got another pocket there. We could do the same again. goes that way unfortunately so right okay I can't use that one what are you oh bookmark holder yeah okay right 
So that could go there actually. That's a bit blarred, isn't it? Yeah, this is the bit that takes me forever, so I'm going to apologise now and stop apologising. <laughs> It does take me a while to sort out what I want. One of those cuts. And they're on quite nice thin paper. My worry is that music paper is not the heaviest, so um, I don't want it collapsing or, you know, flopping because it's got stuff that's too heavy for it. So that might be quite nice. Let's pin that there for now and we'll have a think about that one. I'm just going to get a rough idea if I've got enough ephemera. This is the whole idea of this. So, again, a bit of stenciling, a little snippet. I think that'll be enough for there. That, that's got a flip on that side, hasn't it? Unfortunately. You flip that way, and oh, you flip the right way, right? Yeah, it needs something else, doesn't it? about that one that might be one that I need to take out and just spray and color it and what have you so that I was thinking I could cut that out completely and make a big pocket but I don't know what's on the other side nothing okay could do that one. So just fold that top down because these are quite old book pages so we'll utilize the top of the page to reinforce it. Unfortunately, you do have to lose that bit, I think. I'm just take a little bit off. Not going to fit in there, are you? can go on there but again it needs stuff on the background so we'll just take a bit that on there for now okay big pocket right so, yep okay yeah again another plain piece although that's stitched on that side so that's all right but again ah oh, right okay so we've got a pocket there oh, I might do the same with that other one then actually or shall I do the same thing there? 
I think we'll do the same thing there. This is a really sturdy paper, so it stitches really well. For my paper clips. We'll do the same there. And then that way, this is a page from the kit. So this one, I can gel print on that. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Because I want to get some gel prints in. Or gel printing, I should say. So, yeah, we'll stitch that on there, no problem at all. Okay. Again, not, not really fussed about covering that one. Again, it might just be a little snippet or a bit of stenciling. It's a colouring page, obviously. Cracking writing page. I love writing sideways in these journals. They look great. And again, sideways. Okay. All right. So that one there as well. That will need gel printing as well. So we'll have a gel printing session. Okay. All right. So that's signature number one. Kind of sorted out. And then we can just go through and put pockets in as we... Um, although it has got... Yeah, it's got a couple already, hasn't it? Let's put something in there so that I don't forget. I really need to organise this a bit more. Oh, we've got those as well, haven't we? Forgot about those, right? Okay. We'll put one of those in because that's right, it was one of them each, wasn't it? And then oh, one of those in each one, right? Well remembered. Looking for a bit more of a. faff around with that later right let's get that let's get that in definitely need stenciling don't I very good putting it in there or there. That might be a good candidate actually. A little bit of stenciling at the top, maybe a snippet up there. Yeah. Yep. I think it's safe to stick it in now. Do I want to ink? Let me think. Do I need to ink? I think I, think I do. I'm pretty sure I inked all these, but maybe not. Keep it in there so that when I put it in, it will um, it'll go to the right size. Because as you stuff them, they become fatter, as you know. So, oh, that was a well wonky line. Uh, yeah, we need to be there.
works well nice one Rachel thank you so again I have to work out how this one falls actually I think I might have to yeah I think when it comes to the final sort of before I stitch it it needs to um need to work out where that is going to pop out the bottom if you like it needs to go up a smidge Yeah, we'll faff with that when the time comes. Yeah, it's a lot of faffing. Where's my butterfly? Is there they are. I don't know why there's a pound sticker on there. I didn't pay a pound for them. Oh, I just leave it because <laughs> that's peeling itself off. I'll find some little ones to stick in there. Yeah, I need to make some little ones, just shorter ones. Okay, right. So for now, so that'll do for that. We'll get on and do some gel printing in that one. So that's kind of ready to go. Let's put you there. Let's have a look at you. This is another one that needs gel printing on the inside there. So can do that, no problemo. Again, the pages need staggering. Have that open up there, couldn't we? And then one of those new long tabs could go in there. Bear with me a second to find one. It's a bit too long. sunflower ones in there right yes I'm sorry I'm mumbling I do apologize keep one of those out because we need to put that in right so that tag in there let's have a look let's do a quick dummy run I put that right down there. Yep, it's just going to fit. I can pop that in there. A bit thick, those ones. Again, maybe I ought to wait and put some stenciling underneath. I don't like seeing the plane. Right, let's just clip that in there. Yep, yeah, I need to decide on a stencil and then uh, work my way through. Or gel print, whichever. Is 
seems to be a lot of paper in this one. <laughs> What's going on? I think that might go really well there. I'll paper clip it for a minute in case there's somewhere else that's better. Okay. Slidey. Might cut this one down, take those photos out because it's a little bit kind of fits, but I'll think about that one. Let's get you in the middle. Ish. Up there. Then we've got a book, a page out of the kit. Okay. I think I'm going to be happier if I go through, do the stenciling, the paint and everything before I stick on pockets and things. I was a bit premature with that and page edges and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to be much happier if I do that first. We'll have a quick look through the last one, see what time we've got going. I don't want these to be too long. Again, needs printing or something. Love that paper. I dyed that myself. Who's a clever girl? <laughs> oh, this is um yeah. That was the only place that would go. So yeah, that's fine. So again we've got a kind of fill. Last wrap around pocket thing. Some of those to get in. The rest of it is ephemera in there, so it's fine. Okay. Oh, this is the half and half one. Right. Okay, well that might be a good spot for it actually. So again, we'll just paper clip it in. If it'll come here. Let's see how that works. Oh, I've got two of those papers in there. Um, do I want that? All right. Don't usually do two of the same. Let's move you up the top. Put you there. 
few there. Actually, let's get you more in the middle. In those papers that's a um oh that's a giant pocket that one that's gonna be one big journal card in there isn't it okay and that's the center of that one. Oh, that's got a edith flop out right okay oh we've got a piece there what were we going to do there then susan i don't know could make that into a pocket actually Suckle, why not? I don't hold it there though. Take that out. Might be nice there. That's going to stick on there. Yeah, again, I want to. I want to do the inking first. I think ink I think I might take these bits out actually I'm not that keen on them in fact I'm gonna do it now <laughs> not that keen <sighs> okay so this needs a home could go on there actually if we move that down there. Try not to make it top heavy, you see. It's kind of making sense in my mind. I know I might have confused the life out of you, but oh, it's just it's just a process, guys. It's just a process. But if nothing else, it shows you just how long it takes to make a journal. Well, for me, it does. Maybe I'm just exceptionally slow. I don't know. That's definitely not going to go there. No. We'll faff with that when the time comes, right? Okay. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. That's the other half of that little booklet thing. I might that'd make quite nice pockets actually, wouldn't it? Decision made. Let's see it could go there. There's a nice big pocket. I might just re well, I don't know, it's fairly thick. I was gonna say I might just reinforce underneath, but to be honest, that is quite thick card. It's really old. We could chop that bit off, although that's quite nice to have that. It's a bit of Bit of ephemera, isn't it? Okay, all right. That actually could go in there. That's a big pocket. Why not? Okay. Let's see what the time is. Better 
but again I'm going to I think that's going to be my next job is stenciling putting the paint on and then I'll be happy to stick pockets and things on so let's see how long we've been going yeah 41 minutes okay but at least I've got a better idea now of what's what I've still got quite a lot of ephemera I've got these pages here that I can cut up we're going to need all these tags and things but as I said I want to do the um page background so I'm going to choose a stencil yeah I've got quite a bit here haven't we odd pockets that I've made I thought they would make nice pockets they're um the little coin envelope but I've sort of left it like that I've got envelopes yeah we've got all sorts to stick in so that's fine but let's get those background papers pages decorated and then we'll know where we are so I'm gonna leave this one for now I'm sorry I know it looks like it's just real slow but it is slow um, you wait till I do the cover <laughs> it's gonna be even slower I haven't even thought about covers yet I did look for fabric but I'm not seeing anything that um, hits me but it's already chunking out if you can see it's already so yeah Hmm, interesting. Right, I'll leave it there and um yeah, I'll see you next week. I might do a midweek one actually if um do if I get round to the gel printing because I'm on uh leave next week. So uh yeah. See you then. Bye.